All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the ground app. Uh, I have a couple different projects in here. One, uh, to kind of keep our data separate from their team. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click into the project. You can see these pins that are right here uh, to be able to pin which one that you wanna keep here. I'm gonna go ahead and click in on this project. Now the exterior, we took a map here earlier this morning, so you can see that on here. And then we also have the levels that are pulling up on here as well. We're gonna break this up into kind of two different parts. The first one on exterior. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into that exterior mode and you can kind of see what's going on here. This was the map that we created earlier here today. And then if I turn on this camera, we are going to hit on the capture media side. So it's gonna tell us to connect to a camera. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we have the X2 selected here, so we're going to go ahead and click on that as well. It's going to ask us, do we want to join it? Yes, we do. Once we go through that process, that will be how the camera is connected to the phone. We will con uh, control really the shutter of the camera through the phone, which we're going to show you guys here. But you can see here that it is connected because it shows the blue circle at the bottom. That basically just means that we have the ability to now control this camera from the ground app here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk a little bit farther here. You can see uh, my blue icon is actually moving this is actually really cool this is using the gps from your phone here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch over to a pano so what that's going to do is it's going to use this camera on using the panorama mode here and once i do that i can click on the icon that's going to say uh, capture that uh, 360 image once that is done you can actually hear the click on the camera up here as well. And now you can see that that pin is now saying, hey, that's ready to be uploaded. So once I'm back in the office here, it will uh, upload that to uh, Dronaploy so that you can actually see that 360 panorama here. And you can actually see I'm moving around here uh, back uh, to where that little icon is here. So the next thing I wanna show you though is actually a walk. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to show you where we're gonna go here. I'm actually gonna get a little bit closer to the building and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna walk all the way around this building and you're gonna see uh, really where the blue walk path is once this gets processed. Now why is this really helpful? This is really nice because uh, the aerial imagery obviously is really helpful with the progress photos and the map, but when you wanna get that ground truth and the context of what's going on, that's where the walk comes in handy. Uh, what you can do is you can obviously use the panos here, which is nice, but the walk gets you uh, to cover more area uh, really in a shorter amount of time. And so what that does is it actually takes a time lapse through this 360 camera, and it actually makes it almost like a Google Street View as you're walking around. So it's gonna take a photo every couple seconds, and then what we do on the Drone Deploy team is we then process that into a walk that's gonna be shown here on your map. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, walk button over here, you're gonna see that turn to red. Once that happens here, uh, it's gonna ask me, uh, make sure you have good lighting, good casual walking pace, and make sure nothing's obstructing your view here. So once that's ready to go, I'm actually gonna walk off screen here and do a quick little lap. And what you'll notice here is actually the blue icon is actually following me, which is really cool, because again, it's using the GPS in on the uh, phone itself. I'm gonna make a little bit of a turn here. And you can see here that I'm going to close my loop pretty close. You don't obviously have to close your loop, but I'm gonna say hit end walk. So that was about a minute walk. It's saying to hold the end. And it's gonna ask where I want my endpoint. Uh, it's actually very close to where I started. So I'm just gonna tap it right next to that here and you're gonna see red. Now that transfer walk means that it's transferring it to the phone to then be uploaded once I have an internet connection. Because again, this is connecting to uh, the Wi-Fi network that the camera is putting out. So stick with us and we'll go do that here soon. All right, so now we're on the inside of this building and I just want you to note I'm clicking on a floor plan instead of the exterior this time. I'm gonna navigate down on the phone to where I'm standing in that floor plan space. You can see I've marked that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the red button and then what that's gonna do is give me a countdown timer before I start my walk. Once that is going, I'm gonna start walking. Uh, you'll notice here, I'm actually moving my finger uh, kind of around this floor plan to check in on where I'm actually uh, going in this. Completely unneeded to do. Uh, just a best practice, something I like to do. Uh, you can put that phone on sleep, slip it in your pocket, and keep walking if you would like. So uh, feel free to do that. I just wanted to kind of show that's something that I like to do. Uh, but I'm gonna keep walking down here uh, back into the corridor space uh, and through some of these other adjacent rooms here. And once we're finished up here, I'm gonna hit that blue button at the bottom. That's gonna say to finish the walk. You're gonna press and hold that down here. And once that's done, it's going to ask you for an endpoint. 
and then it's going to transfer that down to your phone from that camera. Once that's complete, you are then going to be prompted once you're back into Wi-Fi and connected to an internet source uh, to upload those to Droneaploy, which you can see here, which it'll give you progress of each of those different walks or panels that you do in Capture, and you'll be good to go.